You decide what level of access you give people along the way. That is the cool thing about this, that if you want to have somebody not look at the financials of a particular ad account, how much money is being spent, you don't have to give them access to that particular area. Let's talk about what is this business manager, what is the overview of it, and all everything that you can do on it because this particular tool was recently revamped at the beginning of 2018 and they have made it much better, much simpler to utilize and way more powerful and more effective. And there's some cool things that I wanna show you guys about it, okay? So for example, here, if you go to business.facebook.com, I'm gonna go from the start, you can see that I have two business managers right here. Now, if you want to create a business manager, then you could, you're gonna do the same thing. Let's say that you haven't done it yet. Well, you're gonna just basically go here business.facebook.com and you're going to have it select the option that says create a business and over here is going to give you an option and you want to just create a new account and here in here you're going to name it correctly now this is important to understand the name of your business manager can be updated in the future but you want to name it correctly from the start it doesn't really matter to your audience to the public because this is not a public name the name of your business manager is only going to be seen by people that are a part of your company or people that you bring in to help you in the company. For example, a partner, another agency, a future employee, or those people that are going to help you with a freelance project along the way or whatever it is that you need, they're going to see that name of that business. So as Facebook states, the name of your business manager should be the name that more accurately represents your business. If you have a brand called XYZ, well, think about what is your LLC? What is your corporation name? Is there any corporation name? If not, you can put on uh, the name of the entire brand and then update it along the way if you're gonna add more products and you wanna just have a bigger name that encompasses all of it. It's not that significant, but just put a name on it that communicates what this business manager is going to be about. Your business email. This is a consistent common question that occurs when it comes to Facebook advertising, business manager, and everything about this. You can use now your business email. For example, in my case, if I use manuel at manuelsuarez.com or I can use uh, my personal email, whatever it is, is going to be fine with them. Now, Facebook doesn't require that you use only the actual Facebook email. So you can just, for example, somebody that doesn't have a Facebook account, you can invite them into Business Manager and they're going to get an invitation into Business Manager and they can go in there and be a part of your Business Manager without them having to use their personal profile in connection with that particular Business Manager. So it's more professional, right? It doesn't require people to now use their own Facebook email. You can use it if you want, but you can use your business email just for the setup of the business manager in itself. This is gonna be the main email. When you create the account, this is gonna be the main email for your communications with Facebook. So they're gonna send you notifications in there, something that could be adjusted along the way. But that's gonna be the primary communication that they're gonna have with you directly for anything concerning the business manager. So it's a very simple here. It says, this should be the one you use to conduct company business. We'll send notifications about your business to this email, okay? So once you create this account, let me give you a quick heads up on this. You are only allowed to have two business managers. So let's say that you wanna have one business manager for a brand that has several different brands, for a company that has like four or five different brands or just for one particular one. And then you also, since you're becoming a ninja marketer, you want to generate an extra source of income and you wanna build like an agency type. Well, you can create a second business manager, which is an agency business manager. For example, you can see right here, AGM Marketing, and you can see right here, FB Masters Course. Whatever it is, it's up to you. I didn't create a second business manager until I started this course. I didn't have the need for it. One single business manager has been enough for me to concentrate all my assets, all my staff, all my pages, everything that has to do with the actual Facebook ads world, Instagram ads world, messenger marketing, all of it is integrated into one single business manager. So go ahead and create yours now before we jump in into the actual overview. If you wanna go ahead and pause this video and just go and create it if you haven't done so yet, if you have created it, 
Let's continue now and let's talk about once you open it up, what do you see on the actual dashboard? Okay, so I'm here in my dashboard. And one thing that is important to understand over here in this particular uh, dashboard here that you see in front right now is that do you see this search bar right here at the top? That search bar is really, really cool. It's a navigational bar that allows you to find anything on that particular business manager. I have been using it a lot recently and it's getting better and better and better. So for example, if I have, in my case, that I have over 50 accounts, each of them individual brands and businesses and activities and things that we have going on, I can just jump straight into one of them right here. And once I search for it, it's gonna show up over here. Look at that, Facebook uh, Masters Promo. And then I even have a campaign. Look at this one. I can go to this one and I can jump straight into a campaign inside the Ads Manager. So that little Little feature right there is really really cool and you can start using that to find different things like even if I search for like an ad set I can go over here and search for or, or an audience right and a particular audience that I want to get more data on you can get anything on it and also like tutorials information articles so it's a great navigational search field for you to be able to find stuff about the business manager and also your assets on it because in here you can search your pixels, your ad accounts, your employees, the history, articles, information, and all kinds of stuff. Now, going back to the business manager dashboard, that's something that I wanted to mention on the um, that is important, which is the navigational search because it is getting better and better. But going back to it, it's important to know that basically there's two things here, okay? There's the menu at the top over here, top left, in which you can see a breakdown of the different areas, for example, frequently used, as Facebook sees you clicking more and more things, it's gonna know what are the areas that you the areas that you click on the most, and then it's gonna have the planning section, create and manage, measuring report, assets, and settings. Don't worry about it. We're gonna to get to, to them slowly. But here, the, the first thing that I wanted to show you guys is that in order for you to get this set up correctly, which we're gonna go step by step through, you wanna click on the business settings over here. You guys see that over here? Business settings. That takes you to the uh, dashboard of the overall settings for the business manager, okay? And for all of it. Again, business manager is above all of it. It's above the ad accounts, it's above, it's above the pages, the pixels, it's basically where you put everything in it. So in here, for example, you, we have the left navigational column. This navigational column is composed of several areas. I'm gonna close them up over here so you can see what they are. So we have users, accounts, data sources, brand safety, integrations, and then we have all the other setup areas on the business manager. Payments, security center, requests, notifications, business info, setup guide. All this has a lot of value, and I'm gonna to explain to you guys each of them and what they mean and how you need to set them up and how you can use them to get better organization on your business manager. So let's start with users. If I open this up over here, it opens up two options, people and partners. Now, people speaks for itself. People are individuals that you wanna bring into your business manager and you wanna assign different assets different pages, different ad accounts, or you wanna give them control to all of it. You decide what level of access you give people along the way. That is the cool thing about this, that if you wanna have somebody not look at the financials of a particular ad account, how much money is being spent, you don't have to give them access to that particular area. If you just wanna create a moderator on a Facebook page, you can go ahead and create it right here. And it's very simple, once you're hearing people, you uh, select add, and then over here, you're gonna be able to select if you wanna give employee access or you wanna give them admin access. And Facebook actually wants to make sure that you give them the right access. Don't give anybody admin access that you don't have to give them access to. Keep in mind, it's for example, like let's say that you have a safe deposit at your office. Well, you're only gonna give that access or that code to somebody that you really trust. If you have an employee that you don't fully trust, don't give them admin access because otherwise, keep in mind that they have the same rights that you have. They could delete the account, they could delete assets, they could get rid of other things, they could share your pixels and your audiences somewhere else. They could pretty much do anything that you could do in that business. So all the valuable things that you have in that business manager, 
could be done, could be altered by this person that you give access to. So you wanna make sure that you do that. You can add several people at the same time. Like for example, if I add Manuel here, let's say that I wanna add one of my other staff, Jet, and I wanna add Jorge, you will see that you can add several of them at the same time. So you wanna give them admin access, employee access, what would you wanna do? It's as simple as that. Now, once you go to next over here, in here you're gonna select which ad accounts you wanna give them access to. If you have a product catalog, I'll explain that a little bit later on. What do you wanna give them access to? All, that's, all that data is gonna be selected along the way and you can do it one at a time or you can do several at a time. So if you guys don't have this set up already, you definitely need to jump in there and start bringing people in correctly and make sure that you are assigning them the assets they need to have access to and keeping them away from assets that they do not need to have access to. It doesn't matter what you have been doing for a long time. If you have not set up your business manager in this way, it's time for you to set it up because in reality, it's going to be key for you to be able to scale and grow your business as you're going to find out along the way, okay? So now, well, I'm gonna close this for a second because the idea behind this is to give you guys an overview. So now we're here, partners is basically, for example, if you wanna have an agency work on your business, you can go ahead and have them be partners. All they have to do is give you their business ID and then you can actually bring them in as partners and assign individual assets. For example, right now we are promoting uh, some mini courses, training that I have going on. I have some people that are becoming partners of only my pixel so I can give them access to being able to, re to uh, generate conversions on the website where people are doing the mini courses training. So I make them partners. What do I do? I simply get their business ID and I just go ahead and add over here the business ID. And once you add it in there, then I select which assets I wanna give them access to. Do I wanna give them access to a pixel or a Facebook page or an ad account? Or what do I wanna give them access to? Or the whole business manager. It depends on what you want them to control and be able to see. Once you make somebody a partner, you allow them to use that particular asset in the same way that you can use that asset, okay? That's basically what assigning a partner is all about. So for example, an agency, an, an actual other company that you're working with, let's say, to give you an example, that you will have hired an influencer, okay? And uh, this influencer is gonna do influencer marketing for you. Now then because you're gonna give them, you're gonna exchange financial agreements with this person so they can promote your brand. Well, how about if they have their own business manager and they make you a partner of their Facebook pixel. So now you can promote your products to their audiences that are visiting their website. It's really cool. So you don't have to get access to a business manager. All they gotta do is assign you as a partner to their pixel, their website traffic. So that's some of the things that you can do once you have a Facebook business partner on that particular asset. Different than an employee, if you have a, if you have a person over here, a people, the people option is either gonna be an employee that works for you or somebody that is actually maybe somebody really close to you that works in your company, that you have an internal partner to the company, not an external one. Does that make sense? That's how you do that. Okay, so we're gonna go to the next one over here. This one over here, the one that says accounts, when you click it, when you open it, it opens up all these options over here. We got pages, ad accounts, apps, Instagram accounts, projects. That's a lot of power right there. That's where a lot of the magic of the business manager happens. Why? Because when you have pages over here, you can add all the pages that you want you can request access to them, you can claim a page, or you can create new ones. For example, if I select add over here, it's gonna tell me what do you wanna do? Do you wanna add a page? Do you wanna request access to a page? Or do you wanna create a new page? We're gonna be covering some more of this later on, but for example, if you don't have a page, well, it's very simple, you're gonna add a page. If you are going to advertise on behalf of an agency, what are you gonna request access to a page? If you're going to uh, basically just 
um, create a new page because you don't have a page. I'm sorry, I, I, twi I mixed that up. But if you're going to create a new page, the option create a new page is very clear. The add a page option is an option for, so let's say that just to show you how simple this is, I'm going to add a page that I know that I am an admin for. So once I select add a page right here, it opens up this window and I can just type the name of the page and it's going to actually pull it in. Now, if you uh, have the link for the page, you can also put the link URL in here and it's also gonna be able to pull it in. So in this case, let's see if we do this. Facebook Masters, Abby Masters. It's a page that I know that I created just to show you guys some things over here. And let's see, over here you guys can see it that immediately was pulled in by the platform and I'm gonna go and select add a page and check it out. Add FB Masters course. Since you're already page admin on this page, your request was approved automatically. So if you're an admin, it's not even going to go through any other process. It's gonna automatically approve it. And now, once you go to your pages over here, you're gonna see the Facebook Masters course page in this place, okay? So it's very simple to get this done just like that, okay? Now, one thing that uh, that's what you wanna do. So either you create it, or you add it or you request access to it. The requesting the access to it is usually done if you're an agency and you wanna allow permission to work on it. And then you once you request the access to it, it's going to ask you what type of request you wanna access. Like do you wanna be an admin, uh, an editor, a moderator? There's many things that you can do on a Facebook page. So you wanna ask for the actual correct permission. For example, here, if we request access to a page, Let's type one uh, particular uh, page. This is one that I know we own for, um, for, I own this particular page, but this is my dad's diabetes channel, okay? Over here, you wanna select which option you want to get access to. You wanna be a page admin that handles all of it, an editor, moderator, advertiser, or analyst. The analyst only looks at insights, branded content settings, and see which admin created a post or comment. Other than that, they don't get access to be able to create posts, to advertise, to moderate, to delete comments, or any of that stuff. If you are an agency, you have to get access to either page admin or page editor. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to do a lot and you're gonna be quite limited. So either editor or admin. Ideally admin, you get the whole thing and if they trust you, they're gonna give you rights as an admin, okay? So that's how you request access to a page. Once you, just, once you request it, Somebody's gonna get a notification. You guys see this notification window over here? In their business manager or on their Facebook page, they're gonna see a notification window that's gonna tell them what is the request. And not only that, actually an even simpler way for them to see that is that over here, going back to the business manager over here, there is on an option over here that's called request. In here, you will be able to see if you are receiving requests, what companies are requesting from you? If you're an agency and you requested access to a page, an ad account, a pixel, you can actually go ahead and ask them to go to the request tab and just go ahead and approve you there instantly. Super, super simple, okay? So that's when it comes to pages, it's very simple. Make sure that you bring them all in. Uh, it's pretty much unlimited, you can create new pages, directly from the business manager, you can add a page or you can request access to them. The same exact process applies to the ad accounts. Guys, what is an ad account? The ad account is how you advertise. It's an account for advertising. If you have seven brands, you should have seven ad accounts. If you have one brand, you should have one ad account. There is no reason to have more than one ad account per brand. In it, you can do everything. For example, if I go over here, and I search the business for the promo account, Facebook Masters promo ad account. It opens up my ad account for the Facebook Masters promos. You can see right here, there's gonna be a drop down on, on all the different ad accounts that you own, but you can access them directly from two places, okay? Just going back over here, you can search for the particular ad account that you wanna access, or you can go ahead and go to the business settings and go to Ads Manager. Ads Manager also does the same thing. It opens up all the ad accounts that you have in that particular business manager. So if you don't have this set up also, it's very simple to set them up in here through the business manager. At this particular level over here, you're gonna have the options to add an account, request access to an account, 
or create a new ad account. As you can see, it is exactly the same thing as pages. If you want to, if you have an ad account, let's say for example that you've been running ads on Facebook for years for your personal ads manager, well, you can pull that into your business manager. That could be applicable to some of you guys and now you can just pull it in here, enter the ad account ID in here, which you can find super easily. For example, if you go to your business manager over here and you go to the ad account, you can see the actual ID numbers for each individual ad account right here under the title of the actual ad account. So over here, I can copy this one to clipboard and then I can just go ahead and add it in here on the account. It doesn't make any sense in this particular example because it's already on the business manager. But if you wanted to get access to your ad account, just get the ad account ID, paste it in here, and you're gonna be able to pull it in if you are the admin for that particular account, okay? Super simple. Look what it says right here. Add an account if your business will control campaigns and building for this ad account. If you work for an agency, you should request access to your client's ad account instead, which is exactly the thing that I was gonna talk about next. Over here, instead of adding a new ad account, if you have an agency, then you can request access to their ad account. They're going to actually be able to give you an ad account ID. You're gonna enter it in there, and you're gonna be able to just, as simple as that, then uh, be, pull that ad account into your business manager so you can do everything in it that you want to be able to do to give your client results, okay? There's two things that you can do. When you're gonna request access to an ad account, you can either type in the ad account ID or you can give them a screenshot of this particular thing right here, boom, and just send it to them so they can give you access to their ad account. This particular here right here, uh, right uh, that you can see, gives them the steps to do. Contact the owner of the ad account, ask them to go to the ad account tab in their business manager and click assign partner. To give you access, they'll need to enter the number below and choose a role. Okay, so they do that and then they enter it and they submit it. They make you an admin, they make you an advertiser, and then you have access to it and you're gonna see the ad account right here in this particular column. And just not only that, you're gonna be able to, once they do that, also see it here at the ads manager level in which you can now run advertising on it and do everything that you were supposed to do on that particular account, okay?